how do we factor this? If this polynomial is in quadratic form, then it's easy. But we have x to the fourth and a linear term 9x. What should we do? Pause the video if you want to try first. Since this is a fourth degree polynomial, if it can be factored, then we can assume that it can be factored as a product of a linear expression and a cubic, or a product of two quadratics. Looking at the first case, from the linear factor x plus a, we know that negative a must be a zero of the polynomial. Since a is an integer, negative a must also be an integer and can only be one of these, according to the rational zero theorem. Plugging any of this into the original polynomial, we can show that none of them is a zero. So we must have case two, the product of two quadratics. Now, multiplying out this product, we get all these terms. Combining like terms, we have this, then matching the coefficients, we obtain this nonlinear system. Since b times d equals negative 20, and b, d are both integers, these are the possible values for b and d. Since the two quadratics are generic expressions, we only need to consider these possibilities. Adding the b and the d in each of these possible order pairs, we get these sums. Plugging each of these into equation two, we get the six possible values of a times c. From equation one, we also know that a equals negative c. So a times c becomes negative a squared. Since a is an integer, negative a squared cannot be equal to 19, negative 19, 8, negative 8, or 1. So a squared must be 1, which means a can only be 1 or negative 1. Choose a to be 1, so c is negative 1. Plugging this into equation 3, we get d minus b equals 9. The only order pair b, d, that satisfies d minus b equals 9 is negative 4 comma 5. Thus, we have our factorization. Hope you find this problem fun. Stay tuned for more interesting problems and techniques. Please subscribe and share my video. See you.